One day, um, while me and my sister were hanging out in our room, out of nowhere, she turns to me and she says, you know, I've never seen you care about anything before. And I was like, kind of offended. I said, what do you mean? And she said, well, I've never seen you stress or face my thing before. And I realized, wow, I actually get that a lot. In fact, just the other day, um, my friend in my bus told me, wow, you're like the most careless person I know. And I'll admit, it is true, I'm pretty carefree, but that doesn't mean I don't care at all. Caring, is, caring means that something is important to you. And us humans can sometimes get so attached or idealize things that are beyond reach that we that it makes that it results in us feeling less happy without us even realizing it. So after some extensive research and with some of my personal experiences, I've come up with three ways we can all be more carefree. The first one is to not be judgmental. By a show of hands, how many of you on a daily basis hear people around you or people you know say stuff like, oh, she's so fake, or why does he act that way, who does he think he is? Judging people is just human nature, and we all do it, but there's some people who do it to such an extent that it's just unnecessary. And what I find with most of these people is that they tend to fear judgment themselves. So these people may talk, act, or dress the way they think others want them to, to feel validated. But let me tell you something that you all probably already know, and that is being judged is inevitable. So if you're going to be judged no matter what you do, you might as well be authentic to yourself and do what makes you happy. A quote from an article of Psychology Today states, there's no better way to care less about the judgments of others than to judge yourself and others less. Growing up, there was always this societal norm of women being hairless. And this norm is one of which I very proudly don't conform to. When I was in 10th grade, uh, I would go to school every day without shaving and I didn't think much about it, I didn't really care until one day, one of my friends, my classmates, came up to me and said, don't you ever feel uncomfortable walking around that way? And I realized, wow, is this something women are actually concerned about? Even 15 year olds? Well, especially 15 year olds. But after that, she proceeded to tell me, wow, I have so much respect for you now. And of course, my ego skyrocketed. But ever since then, I've just had so much more confidence about walking around this way. Because even though there may be people judging me about it, there are others who don't care or who think that it's great. My second point is to be more grateful. Whenever something goes wrong in our lives, we're so quick to react frantically or go into such a negative headspace that we don't forget all the million other things that are going right in our lives. Practicing gratefulness and just being more grateful in general is proven to reduce toxic emotions like resentment, regret, envy, frustration, and to my surprise, even trauma. A study published in 2006 on behavior therapy and research found that Vietnam War veterans who had higher levels of gratitude experienced lower rates of PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder. In fact, being grateful can not only help your mental health, but it can help you sleep better, reduce aggression, and improves your self-esteem, and much more. And my last and final point is to embrace change and failure. I've always had this mindset of, if I don't try this, I'm just never gonna know. And I stick by this all the time. Because if the outcome isn't great, then that's okay, because now I won't be wondering what it would have been like, and maybe I would have learned something from it. And if the outcome, outcome is a positive one, then that's great. So embrace change. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there because once you do, you will slowly but surely be more comfortable in situations that you wouldn't have been in before. 
When I was younger, I was extremely shy. And when I mean extremely shy, I wouldn't talk to anyone other than my mom, my dad, and my sister. But over the, over the years, I've been put in many circumstances that would be petrifying to my younger self, like public speaking, which now I'm way more comfortable in. So, <laughs> sorry. Even though it may seem impossible at first to do something different or accept a change, just go for it and remember that it's going to be alright in the end. I love this quote I found that says, the present moment is all there ever is. Because think about it, is it ever not now? And embrace the failure too, because you cannot succeed in anything without failing first. And when you do, that's okay, because you actually took that first step and you tried, which most people are too afraid to. In fact, if it wasn't for this last point, I definitely wouldn't be standing here and giving a speech today. So, go wear your socks and sandals, go dance in public, or sing in public, or even write a speech about not caring and say it in front of a lot of people and worry about embarrassing yourself later. Thank you.